83 million ya fir 8.3 crore that is the number of jobs that will be eliminated completely in just the next 5 years over 22% of the jobs that exist today will be completely extinct in the coming 5 years that is a huge number aapne is tarah ke bahut sare numbers sune honge bahut sari videos dekhi hongi there is a lot of fear with new tools coming out like sora devin chat gpt cloud and many others about what can it replace and what should you focus on so that is what we'll be talking about today i will be sharing with you five high paying jobs that ai will not be able to replace in the near future we'll talk about what these jobs are how can you learn to get into these jobs and i will also talk about how can you get opportunities in this particular field make sure that you watch till the end hit the like button and subscribe most important thing to understand is that 6.9 crore jobs will also be created in the coming future which means there is a lot of opportunities for you to grab and make a ton of money in that particular field all you need to do is to keep your ears open and use your brain and not listen to random news and articles but the reality is if you are a college student by the time you graduate in the next 4 years your skills might completely be extinct you might just be outdated like a dinosaur the skills which you were being prepared for will no longer have the same exclusivity and might not pay you the same as it was earlier because of automation and artificial intelligence so that is very very important to keep in mind but let's start with the first and the most important high paying job and that is of a full stack developer yes you might have seen videos of devin and what it can do how it can write code all on its own but it is still not going to replace the job of a full stack developer in most situations why do i say that hear me out right i believe from everything that i have seen from all the videos i have watched from what i have seen on twitter full stack development is not just about writing code right it is a lot more than just that when you get to work on a project under a startup or in a company you have to think about the problem as a whole it's more of a problem solving job than just a job in which you're typing code all day long that might just be 20 to 30% of your job the rest of the job is looking at code is understanding code is understanding the problem is coming up with solutions all of that pseudo code that people keep writing that is what you would be spending most of your time into the job which will be replaced is that of a junior developer the junior developer who is maybe you know creating some small apis here and there or someone who's just writing some very simple front end code or someone who's just doing the bare minimum who's just learning that is the person who will definitely get replaced because of everything that we have now github copilot you have devin you have other tools as well so slowly what will happen is the threshold for you to make big money as a software developer will keep increasing will keep going up and so you need to have skills that are beyond the idea of just writing code of just typing things out right so a lot more things like system design like designing the back end of a app all of these things will still require human input so that is the most important thing you need to understand acha nowadays everyone talks about using ai for coding but it's all a myth and i say that because ai is a assistant and not a replacement you just need to know the best use of ai and you will become irreplaceable unfortunately most of the colleges don't teach that because of their old curriculum but here is a hidden gem for all of you newton school of technology is making a difference with their global btech degree in cs and ai their curriculum is shaped by tech leaders from bank companies the faculty is from prestigious universities is like iit mit and duke students receive personal mentoring from industry experts from google microsoft amazon and they also undertake a mandatory 6 month paid internship from their second year onwards that is the reason why their first year students excel crafting ai powered drones and coding major websites like netflix amazon and nika even their first year students are breaking the norms by cracking 114 rank in the world's most prestigious coding competition that is icpc even their entrance exam nsat is practical focused offering you a chance of 100% scholarship register by april 19th for the exam which is happening on the 20th of april do not miss this opportunity the link is in the description apply now in 2024 the best thing you can do 
if you are just getting started in the software development field is to become a man stack developer a man stack developer is one who takes care of the front end and the back end but even if you become a full stack developer there's a chance that you might not get jobs that you want and that is because you are not pitching to the right companies and two you don't have the right portfolio to showcase to people your github profile sucks you don't have nice contributions to open source projects you don't have proof of work that tells the person that yes is bande ko aata hai right so you need to be able to represent yourself you need to be able to present yourself in a way that if any recruiter or hr looks at your profile they're immediately impressed by the work that you've done and this my friends is the most important thing to understand another way to make big money as a full stack developer is to join web3 companies and work as a web3 developer so you are already aware of the man stack which makes you a full stack developer but then on top of that you also start learning solidity you also learn how to make smart contracts you also learn how to create DAOs, NFTs, metaverses, you are exploring these fields. So there's a lot of potential in the space of Web3 for developers. Again, it's a very new field, which means that finding people with years of experience is very rare. So because of that, your chance of learning Web3 development and then going for companies and getting a high paying remote job becomes a lot higher. Right. So there are so many opportunities you can explore. Just go to remoteok.com or you can go to TopTal or you can also just go to Pesto. These platforms enable you to create your profile and get opportunities. So go ahead and do that and you will find amazing success on your way as a full stack developer. Now, how do you learn full stack development? I have made an entire video on that. So go watch that over here. But if you want to learn it, Free Code Camp is an amazing website. Roadmap.sh is an amazing website. There are tons of creators creating content around this, but the best knowledge you can gather is going to be from the docs. So if you are learning React.js, just go to React.js docs and start learning from there. If you want to build something very particular, then you can go and watch some tutorial, but you can also be, you know, trapped in this tutorial hell where you're just not able to code something on your own because you're just copying other people, which is good, but having the ability to type code yourself and solve a problem is very, very rare, right? So get into that habit of building things from yourself, taking help from the docs and stack exchange and learning to do things yourself. Talking about the second job you need to focus on and that is of a digital marketer. I believe as someone who runs a digital marketing agency that this field is still very much unexplored. A lot of businesses need the right strategy, right? So money is not necessarily into editing or into designing. The real money lies into content strategy for so many companies out there. So to be able to make big money as a digital marketer, you should be able to create strategies for businesses to create content which builds their own brand. So if you've seen the annoying notifications of Zomato, of Swiggy, if you've seen their tweets, if you've seen their Instagram profile, if you've seen their clever copywriting, all of that is content strategy. If you've seen Duolingo's Instagram account and what strategy they're applying, they're getting tons and tons of views just because they're able to create trendy content which gets shared by people. And so this is all an example of creating highly engaging content strategy for companies. And this companies pay a ton of money for, right? Anywhere between one to five lakhs per month to you if you can understand and devise a strategy for a company which actually works for them. Now this job involves a lot of intuitive thinking. It requires understanding of the algorithm. It requires understanding of the business and what is their target audience and how can they cater that audience? What do they sell? Who do they sell it to? So understanding all of that and then coming together with a strategy if you want to get massive virality, which will get you sales, which will get you brand recognition. Ye sab kaam hota hai of a content strategist, right? Ab agar aapko seekhna hai content strategy ke baare mein, to you can go to SEMrush Academy. Vahaan pe unke bhoat sare courses hain, jit mein aap enroll karke, you can learn about how content strategy works. You can also check out HubSpot Academy. Yahaan pe bhi bhoat sare courses hain that you can go and enroll yourself into and you can genuinely learn the interesting things that go in this particular role, right? Again, these two websites are free, you can access them and you can learn them in free. HubSpot ka digital marketing has a certificate bhi hai that you can take and you can become a certified digital marketer from HubSpot. Other than that, you can also check out Meta Blueprint. They have a ton of courses and guides that you can take to become a Meta certified 
marketer. So that is another field you can explore. So these platforms will enable you to learn digital marketing, the field of content strategy, and then you can start getting jobs. How do you get jobs? Again, it will be a lot of you emailing people, emailing the founders, getting real world experience, doing those internships, trying to create strategies for smaller brands and then seeing how it goes from there. I will soon be coming out with this massive podcast that I've done with two and a half hour duration in which I've talked with marketers and I've understood how do you get into this field. So watch out for that coming out soon. But this is the second most important job. The third one that AI will not be able to replace is going to be that of an AI consultant. Yes, sell the shovels in the gold rush. You don't go looking for gold, you sell the shovels. What does that mean? When AI is all the hype, you become the person who is teaching companies how to deploy AI into their own workflow. Like what is your AI strategy? Right? Board meetings, mein jo badi badi company hoti hai, that's a question that they have all the time. Like how are you using AI to become more efficient, become more productive? And so these companies, which have no clue how to use AI are looking for people who can actually train them, train the bosses, train the leaders, train the actual employees on using these AI tools. Like, you know, you have chat GPT, you have Adobe uh, Firefly, you have so many other tools. Descript is one and all of these tools, mid journey as well. Sora is coming soon. Devon is also coming soon. So all of these tools being able to teach these two people, is going to be your advantage, is going to be your skill. And so anyone who could do that can charge a lot of money. So for example, there are corporate teachings that happen, corporate workshops that you can do in which you can actually teach people at corporates on how to use these tools in your day to day life, right? If you are using Excel, how can you write commands to GPT-4 and actually get all the things done without you having to type things yourself in Excel? This can actually be done. There are a lot of tools which take advantage of AI in the field of Excel. So a lot of that can be taught to you in these workshops. And that is a responsibility. You will have to learn things yourself. You will have to learn how to use chat GPT. You will have to learn how to use mid journey. You will have to learn how to use all the other tools and become savvy. So every single day, just go to futuretools.io and start looking through all the tools released and start looking through them one by one, start using them every single day see where you can apply it. And then once you've done that, create your personal brand around it on LinkedIn, on Twitter, on Instagram as well afterwards. And then once you do that, you will be known for someone who teaches AI, who talks about AI. And hence you will be reached out by a lot of people who are working at these corporates to teach them and their team and their employees about AI. Or you can yourself reach out to companies inquiring for something like this. So this field again has massive, massive potential. There are lots of companies spending thousands of dollars in just training people on the AI tools and models out there. So get into this field learn as much as possible. Again, the docs are going to be the most helpful to you. You can enroll in courses, learn how these things work and then start teaching it to others. Again, this will only work for the coming two, three years. Once people understand everything, then this job might not be as lucrative or as easy to get into as an AI consultant. So get into it right now. There is a lot of opportunity. Okay. The fourth job that AI will not replace is that of a teacher. Right now, a teacher can be someone who teaches anything, but the idea of getting people together in a classroom environment and teaching them through examples, teaching them through actually showing them live practical examples is very rare. And it is something that you cannot replace with an AI. There is no future in which you walk into your school in, a, in your 10th grade. There's an AI teacher who walks in, teaches you and then goes back. That human touch needs to be there. That empathy needs to be there. That feeling when you talk to a teacher and they crack a joke or two and then you laugh and then you bond with that teacher and that teacher literally creates your character, right? I think we all have some favorite teachers that we remember. So this job is not going to go anywhere, right? Now, of course, teachers, most of them are not paid as much. But if you become an online teacher, someone who teaches with the help of social media, you can earn a lot of money through courses, through live workshops, through eBooks, through workshops, and many other ways, right? It is all about creating those teaching materials and putting it online. 
building your brand around it. I've made a separate video on personal branding. Go and watch this to learn more about it. But this simple idea is super powerful. There are people who have sold hundreds of thousands of dollars of courses as a teacher online. They have the respect of their students and they are able to make a living doing what they love because of the internet. So it is no longer just about teaching kids in a school and getting paid minimum wages. It's, it's a lot more about going online, about building your brand, about working with companies education companies. For example, I worked as a teacher for one year at an academy and I made decent money with that. So that is really lucrative. I have done it. My parents have done it. My mother used to be a teacher. She still teaches. And so this is a very lucrative field that you can get into and make a lot of money, right? So that is the fourth job that you can get into. The fifth one is that of a data scientist. In a world where people are constantly on their phones doing taking action, the ability for you to measure their data and find patterns through it that can drive results and decisions for companies is really valuable. All companies have tons of data about their users, but there are a few people who can effectively take that data and make sense of it all. Right? So a very simple example I'll give you, right? If you go on to Amazon and you're searching for something that you want to order. Now the way the Amazon app is laid out will govern how you will order, what you will order, right? So every single thing counts. As a data scientist, the job is for you to understand how people interact with the app and give final conclusions that, okay, this person books this thing. This person orders this thing only and does not order the other thing. So we should discontinue that. We should double down on this. If we show this person that, okay, people who bought this also bought this other item, they would be much more likely to click on that and order more and ultimately give more revenue. So even if you can have that 1% change, so even if people start ordering 1% more for a company like Amazon, that is going to be millions and even billions of dollars of revenue, right? Over the year, over the next decade. So this, Skill is highly rewarding today in this age. I've made a separate video on how do you become a data scientist, so go watch that. But it's very simple. You just have to start with learning about mathematics, then learn about Python. Once you've learned Python, you start learning about data science and data analysis, like how do you use data? So for that, you have three packages. The, one, the first one is NumPy, then you have Matplotlib, then you have Pandas. Once you've learned all of this, then you move on to the next part and you start learning about things like TensorFlow, Scikit-learn and PyTorch. And you use all of this to build models that predict user behavior, right? So this field is very lucrative. Lots of opportunities, lots of positions available at top tech companies and they pay you a lot of money because they know that one small insight that these data scientists give us can help us make a ton, a ton of money. And hence it's very, very easy for them to reward you a lot for that in advance. So that is how the career of a data scientist works. Again, if you want to learn more about this, you can always go to free code camp and start learning from there. I have shared a ton of resources where you can go and learn about data science in the description of this video. So go watch that, hit the like button, check out Newton School of Technology with the link in the description and enroll for their test NSAT. And I wish you all the very best. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will see you all in the next video. If you're still watching it in the comment section, I watch till the very end and I'll see you in the next one.